Hi there, I'm Ludwig and this is SQL Bootcamp Online, the two-minute SQL series when I'm addressing the most common questions regarding SQL and Azure that you'll find everywhere online. So in the previous uh, video on this channel, we talked about the dark side. So how to enable the dark mode on your Azure portal under your settings. And on that video, we learned that it all comes down to just basically uh, finding the proper place in your Azure portal settings, choosing the dark mode, and that's it. You've just joined the dark side. The problem is that if you go to SSMS, it's not that easy. When you launch your SSMS uh, application, it just gives you in the tools, in options, and in your general settings, it'll give you three color themes. There is blue, there is blue on the extra contrast, and there is just light, and that's it, nothing more. So the thing is that the, when the developers of SSMS, they were creating the SSMS itself, they did create the dark mode, but they explicitly say, said, hey, let's just turn it off to make sure that no one will mess around with it. So our job is to find that option that turns off the dark mode and comment it out. So make sure that SSMS will ignore that option the moment it will launch. So let's just go do that right now. I'll just cancel it out. I need to close my SSMS first. Boom closing SSMS and I need to go through my uh, through my hard disk drive to through my C drive through my program files in order to find the file that I'm looking for so I'm going to my C program files x86 I'm going to find the SSMS folder then a uh, common seven and then IDE which stands for integrated development environment so I'll just go uh, down to find the EDE folder and in this very folder all I need to do is I need to scroll down or find depending on whether you do have the indexes turned on the SSMS.pkgundef file the package and the uh, undefined file. So what I need to do is I need to open this file. Again, I can either open it with Notepad or any other text editor that I have installed on that system. And in this file, which can be quite lengthy, I right now need to scroll all the way to the very to the very bottom to say that to find the section that says remove dark theme. Please know that you're not enabling a feature in here. You're disabling the feature that removes the dark mode, the dark theme, right? So uh, how do I remove that? Well, I just need to put two slashes in the at the very beginning of that line because this way I'll um, I'll ignore or SSMS will ignore this particular uh, key when it will be launching. So I'll just uh, save this file. Boom. Yes, I want to save it. I didn't change anything else. And right now I'll just launch SSMS as usual without any additional actions on my side. So let me just wait for a second for SSMS to launch in here for me. I'll go, I don't need to even connect to any instance in here. I'll go to my tools, I'll go to my options. And right now I can see that the dark mode was enabled indeed. I can hit dark, I can hit okay. And boom, from this moment on, once I'll save those changes, my SSMS turns dark, turns to the dark mode. And this way, it will be way easier for me to write my queries. Of course, it's not absolutely perfect. You won't have uh, every single feature that will be black, like Object Explorer. Boom, let me just connect to my uh, service in here. It will be still uh, light. But again, my queries will be way easier on my eyes when I'll be working uh, for, for long hours to de develop all of my code. So again, this is the question. This is the answer to the question how to enable the dark mode on SSMS. It just takes two slashes, but you need to put that in the proper place on your um, uh, on the text file that defines what functions will not be available in there. So again, welcome to the dark side. I'm Ludwig and this is SQL Bootcamp Online. Do not forget to sign up for SQL Bootcamp Online because whatever we are covering in here is just the tip of an iceberg from the actual program, which is free, by the way. So again, see you on the other side.